Hi everyone, Late Blight here with another fun game for uh, you to play. This isn't going to be uh, a full Let's Play, this is just going to be me showing off uh, another silly little game that's uh, kind of unknown and I wanted to highlight it just because, not because it's so good, but just because it's kind of interesting and not very well known. Today we'll be looking at Perestroika, and those of you who know Russian know that uh, Perestroika means uh, it's, it's some political term which, you know what, I'm not even going to try to define it, never mind, let's just run the game. There you go, isn't that a wonderful title screen? Um, there's supposed to be music during this title screen, but there's supposed to be some traditional Russian uh, song or whatever that plays, uh, but the sound, for whatever reason, doesn't work too well here on DOSBox, so you just have to look at Gorbachev's face for about 15 seconds. Yeah, the game is made by a gentleman by the name of, uh, I think it's Leonard Snyder or something like that. And as you can see uh, over on the left side there, it's, it says 1990. I'm presuming that's the, the date of the, the game's making. Quick overview, since you probably, uh, unless you can read Russian, but you probably can't, so you probably aren't sure what all that stuff is on the right. Let me explain it to you. The circle at the top basically represents um, a law. There, there are lots of those in the game. They basically represent laws and... Uh, I'll, I'll explain in more detail as we start the game. Uh, the little green thing with the big yellow nose, that's the Democrat. You can see it even says, I know it looks like it says Democapat, but that's, you know, that's supposed to be you, the Democrat, trying to bring about democracy in the Soviet Union. Below that is a bureaucrat, or b b 10 pokpat or something like that. Uh, that's, that's a um, official bureaucrat who will impede your progress. You want to avoid him. Below that are various bonuses you can pick up. The blue circle is, I think that's consumer goods, if I remember right. Uh, below that is a, a red ball, that's uh, bankable currency. Uh, the yellow and red ones, the yellow one is, I think, some kind of tax, progressive tax, you want to avoid that, and the red one, I have no idea. And then the numbered circle is what your basically level goal on each level. Check out the high scores on the left-hand side. I mean, the, the top score is some person named Beta Half, uh, a with an umlaut, O with an umlaut, A with an umlaut half. I mean, he, he must have not been liked by his parents very well to give him a name like that. But he got uh, almost 200,000 points, which is insane because you're going to have a hard time getting 2,000 points in this game. Okay, let's start the game. Here we go. This is Perestroika. Now, I'm the little green thing in the lower left, and you can see all the circles coming and going. Like I said, the circles represent laws, and the whole point is that, you know, laws come and go, they change, right? And you want to hop around from one to the other. You kind of use them to your advantage, use them as stepping stones to get to where you want to go. Where do I want to go? Up there. In each level, your goal is to grab the little circle there. The circle represents a milestone of Perestroika. Basically, Perestroika is the big... Uh, it's a big governmental restructuring process, um, and of course, around 1990, that was when the Soviet Union was going through a very major perestroika as they were becoming uh, more democratic. Uh, although this game's emphasis on consumer goods and hard currency seems to suggest... Oh, I walked right into that bureaucrat, didn't I? Okay, that's it. It's game over. So you see that count at the top, I think, is actually how long I was playing. So I was playing for, I guess the 53 is 53 seconds. Now, notice it goes up to hours. I'm assuming that the zero in the middle is zero minutes, and then after that, that, that must be zero hours on the left. Do people actually play this game for hours? I just, I can't believe, I just find that stunning. Because, I, I, I okay. Anyway, uh, I'll play again, and when you see this, this is the bureaucrats doing their little dance to uh, console you on your death. There's supposed to be um, also a cha-cha-cha sound. It's basically the cha-cha-cha dance, and every time they do a little step, they're supposed to say cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. But actually, again, that sound, the sound doesn't work very well in this game. You can hear the beeps and boops, but you don't hear the digitized sound. When you see this, you can press 1 to play again, or 0 to quit. I'm going to press 1 to play again. Okay, so here we go. First of all, I'm horrible at, at this game anyway. Like, see that? I just, I walked right into the water. That was stupid. But in second place, the game is just absurdly difficult because the laws come and go so fast. That, oh, man. I just can't imagine. Is this what Russian school children are taught to do? Do, like, do they, like, train on this game for hours every day from the ages of 5 to 18? And that's why beta half 
Alpha, Omega, Beta, whatever his name was, was able to get 200,000 points. I mean, I got 600 points, and I played for a total of 31 seconds. Check that out. I'm, am I really that bad at the game, or is there some kind of supernatural force in effect when, when Mr. Half or Sir Beta was playing the game? I mean, I just can't imagine what kind of forces must have been at work. I think there are 25 levels in the game, so basically you're supposed to catch, you know, that was level 1. Great, and I'm supposed to do that 25 times, and you have, like, three lives to do it with. That's just... Wow. I, I really can't imagine. I mean, I, I knew politics was an ugly game, but, I mean, I'd, I'd rather, you know, debate politics than do this for the first 18 years of my life. I, I pity anybody who grew up in, in the Soviet Union and actually had to do this every day, for hours every day. I, I feel for uh, for my Russian comrades. I'm, I'm very sorry uh, for you fellows. And, well, for... and also women as well. Okay, so there you go. That's uh, that's Perestroika. It's, it's a fun little game. It's kind of unique. It has an interesting premise. And the graphics are cute. The sound effects are minimal but functional. And yeah, I don't know if you actually want to play it, but I thought I'd just make a video of it because it's uh, not a very well-known game, and I like to highlight... Uh, one of the things that I really want to do here on YouTube is highlight games that are not well-known so that people can see them and say, wow, I, I never want to play that game now. So there you go, I think I achieved my purpose for the day. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a great day.